uh, it's still a mixture of extreme excitement and a little bit of horror <laughs> to try to keep all this, uh, yeah, everything functioning. <laughs> they would have told you when you started that in a few months you would have, the game would have like millions of players and you would have a hundred thousand people on the <laughs> Would you have taken the job? I don't know. <laughs> I would have been terrified, I think. Uh, but I can also, also be a bit cocky, so I would probably like, I can do it. <laughs> and I can do it. <laughs> If I could clone myself, uh, I would uh, make at least five, <laughs> so that I could put one of me on, uh, like one who focuses only on Discord and one who's only on Twitter and one who's only on emails, so that everyone can get my full attention. <laughs> I need five. <laughs> but I need five of me because I have a certain way <laughs> to do things. <laughs> The last couple of weeks have been uh, crazy and a lot of fun. Uh, we grew from a very small community to a very large one. Uh, for example, our Discord, we were 5,000 members when we first released the game. And in one month, we are over 100,000 members. So there has been a lot of chaos. A lot of things that we didn't expect to happen would happen. Uh, and organizing 100,000 people is it's hard, but it's a lot of fun and I'm learning so, ma so many new things. I work, I try to stick to my eight to four hours, uh, eight in the morning or four in the afternoon, uh, but it happens that uh, I stay a bit longer or I uh, eating my breakfast and I'm answering uh, things on Discord and uh, even in the middle of the night, I once jumped in and helped the moderator. <laughs> so it's, uh, it can be, can be a little bit more. <laughs> I was hired for 50% uh, uh, 3D art and animation and 50% community management. So what, what have you done in the game? Have you done anything? Yeah, I have done a couple of weapons, uh, black metal weapons, and I have done some of uh, the food stuff. Uh, for example, the lox meat pie and fish wraps. And I did the Odin hood cape and uh, drinking horn that we gave to our beta, beta testers. Do you get any time now to do anything in the game? <laughs> Not now. <laughs> Well, it was released during the pandemic uh, when a lot of people are stuck inside and can't really meet each other. And it's a game that you can play with your friends. And I think that's uh, something that really attracts people. But I also think the theme and uh, the art style it's, is pretty unique because we have this uh, old, uh, old school, uh, nostalgic, uh, low poly art style together with a uh, more modern uh, environment with lightning and stuff. And we have a very cozy atmosphere, and I think that uh, also have attracted a lot of people. We get a lot of stories from people uh, that are very thankful and grateful that we have released this game, because they have found something to play with friends and family members that may live a bit far away and that they can't meet due to the pandemic. And some people have said that it has helped them with uh, feeling restless. Sometimes, some people have even said that it has helped them with depression and having uh, been, par been part of something that have helped people in that way is uh, it feels fantastic um, i don't think there's really a feeling that can describe that yeah i get a lot of um, emails i can get up to 200 300 a day and some emails are very strange uh, i have had uh, 
people tell me they love me. I was more worried when I started a job than I am now because I personally haven't received that many odd things uh, or horrible things that some other women in the industry do. I have gotten some uh, people that have emailed, uh, googled my name after I have emailed them because I sign with my name and then get uh, strange mails on how beautiful I am. Uh, that feels a bit creepy. And then I had one person who uh, yes, said he loved me and wanted to have kids with me. That's very... <laughs> I don't think men get those emails, at least in the same uh, extent. <laughs> But uh, luckily, they have been very few so far. <laughs> I have been like numbed to uh, those angry emails that I get. I get uh, because I also I think it's sort of funny because I do get a lot of uh, emails in other languages, uh, and at this point, it's like Russian roulette when you press translate because sometimes it's like really sweet or just uh, common technical issues. And sometimes it's the word fuck in, uh, in between every word. <laughs> and like I, at this point, I think they are really funny, so I just sit and laugh. <laughs> I've had some people, when they have emailed me and be very angry, and when I have uh, helped them and solved their problems, and sometimes even I haven't solved the problems, but I have tried to help them, they have apologized. Uh, so I think there's... Um, if you try to understand these angry people, it's usually you find common ground, so that's nice. I'm very surprised at what people do in the game. Uh, they make so... like the buildings people make. I have seen people make build ships from uh, uh, Star Wars. I have seen upside down houses and wizard's towers and Hagrid's cottage from Harry Potter. So people are very creative and they are building things that I did that I didn't even know that they can build. <laughs> Uh, before we released the game, I would often record videos of me building, uh, building stuff and upload it to Twitter. I'm too afraid to do that, do that now because a lot of people are so much better than I am. <laughs> so I'd just much rather share their houses. <laughs> One thing that I myself haven't really taken notice of in the game and uh, haven't, it's a mechanic that I haven't really used, is that you can have bees. And for some people, for some reason, people are very excited about these bees because when you press the like bee houses, kipo, <laughs> uh, there comes a text that can say the bees are happy. So now a lot of people are going around saying the bees are happy <laughs> and are very excited about these bees. And I think that's really sweet, but it was also not something that we thought that people would uh, hang on to. <laughs> So we have people asking for the bees are happy t-shirts and uh, making a lot of the bees are happy memes. <laughs> and it's great. <laughs> it's very wholesome. <laughs> you have this uh, hardcore Vikings rival games and people are focused on their bees. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> how I feel about it. It's so abstract to me. I realize they are very huge numbers, but I can't really grasp how huge they are. <laughs> that's also something like a feeling that's very hard to describe. Uh, because the day still sort of looks the same. And we haven't, uh, because we haven't met at all since, uh, since the release of the game. So, we haven't really celebrated and I think had we had that celebration it would be more set in our minds that this is happening uh, but now our days look almost the same but just a lot more <laughs> but we are getting together for an online thing next week I'm not sure because it's the publisher that's uh, uh, planning that but I think we're gonna have the online games and uh, eat some food and drink some drinks <laughs> I have had my own drinks to celebrate though. <laughs> I had some Baileys though when we released. A very boring question now, okay? Yeah. 
So have you ever kind of thought that you're 23 years old and maybe this is the coolest thing you will ever experience in your working life? <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> no, I think it's. Uh, I think I'm going to experience cooler things. This is the baseline. <laughs> My first like introduction to the gaming uh, gaming world was when a friend introduced me to uh, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword when I was 14, I think. And uh, uh, I saved up and bought a Wii just to play the game myself at home. And the games just started to stack up and uh, it just went uh, downhill from there. <laughs> I met a bunch of people from uh, the university here that were studying game writing. So then I got my mindset on game writing. <laughs> uh, and I really wanted to start here. Uh, but then I started to looking at their other courses and I have always been uh, drawn to art and uh, painting and drawing. Uh, and I saw that they had an animation program here. So I had my mindset on that now. <laughs> because I changed my mind a lot. Um, but I got into the animation program and I studied that for three years. And uh, then when uh, the last year of, of university, me and two friends were actually in the incubator uh, that we have in Kvabde and we're going to start our own little company um, where we were going to make mobile games. Uh, but that uh, sort of ended when I uh, got the job at Iron Gate um, and here I am now. <laughs> so I went from game design to game writing to animation to community management. <laughs> I don't think they understand but they are still really very proud. <laughs> I have had most of my family members uh, sharing uh, posts on uh, Facebook uh, uh, about this, um, which is fun to see. <laughs> but my parents for a very long time thought that I was studying programming, so I don't, uh, I don't trust them to fully know what I'm doing. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I don't know what more to say. <laughs> I'm still in shock, I think. 